Capricorn. This is your week ahead tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Welcome. My name is Michelle and thank you so much for everybody that clicked on this video. I hope that you enjoy it. Feel free to leave comments below to let me know how you're experiencing this energy. This is for Capricorn, Zodiac sign, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. It's an energy reading, so please let it resonate where it will in your life. And like I said, feel free to comment. Feel free to comment. Having trouble being heard or feel like you had a trouble trouble being heard, being stifled, like in somehow maybe you could let it out, you could talk, but you had to talk around things instead of being direct, or you had something to say, but you couldn't say it completely. This is coming out in the past position, and I'm wondering what it was that was kind of stifled inside of you because it came out on its side, so it's not necessarily, it's almost like you have something to say that you wish you had said something in the past. That's kind of what I'm getting. So where is this going? Interesting, right? Let's get into it. If you're interested in the astrology, remember, I do a full Capricorn deep dive astrology every single week. So please check that out on my second YouTube channel, Astrology Motivation. And yeah, I do do personal readings, absolutely. All that is in the description box, but you've got to go to my website, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com. That's the only place that you can book them, schedule them, pay for them. That's the only place through the website. That's it. Nowhere else. Don't believe anybody else who says differently. <clears throat> you wish that you had told somebody you loved them a while ago. Or that there was this sense of maybe you let something out or you remember saying something and now it's finally coming back to you. How is it coming back to you? I don't know. I just looked at the cards just when you did, right? There is this sense of your ships are finally coming in when it comes to love. It could also just mean that it was pretty frustrating in the past. Feeling, I don't know, just misunderstood or not heard or... Like you didn't say all you needed to say to somebody or that you never heard something from somebody. That's really interesting. But I love this. I love this. This sense of having faith has led you to absolute abundance coming into you. Three of Wands is about you did put the... Three of, three of Wands is pay it forward. That's kind of what it is. It's like you invest in something up front and then you finally see now you're at the clearing because you, you did believe, you did have faith, right? Three is the number of faith. And, and this is Galahad. Galahad is, well, it always makes me think of Galahad. The, the, the Holy Grail, the one that, the, the knight that carries the cup. The cup of faith really the the journey or quest of faith is what it is and it's all about love baby so showing somebody that you love them and in a sense finally feeling like you're getting that love back or seeing love come back or love come into your life mm, maybe it's a specific person cancer scorpio pisces knight of cups this may not be somebody you're in love with or you're in a sexual relationship with. It doesn't have to have anything to do with that. It just has to do with this is somebody that you really, really care about re-emerging into your life. We have the Page of Wands. This is a new person. Maybe somebody young, somebody with fresh eyes, a wide open perspective, a lot of enthusiasm. Maybe this is your energy, feeling young again. This is really interesting. And then we have this card that keeps turning around. Which direction do you want to be in, Empress? Seriously. In reverse. Empress in reverse is about a mother figure that wasn't a good one. Somebody who was a devouring mother. Somebody that put the needs of herself over the needs of her children. And instead of... of, of of giving she took some somebody who's kind of very toxic energy or just feeling like your life is out of control and you didn't have any say or control over this situation um that's sort of taken its toll on you but it's come and that's coming out in the future temperance is here a sense of uh, an angel watching over you trying to help you it's almost like in some way somebody is trying to make up for the past somebody's trying to make up for what 
I don't know, they, they perceived as not being able to say or do in the past. Please clarify the Empress in reverse. I really need to understand that. You're not working. So Empress in reverse is, is being clarified by the Five of Swords and Hermit. Something messed up your job or messed up doing the job that you wanted or um, didn't come through work, a job, a work situation or with a Virgo, this could represent an actual Virgo, could also represent not being able to be alone or somebody who could never be alone. Somebody who would just always needed, needed, needed. Why are they coming up in your future though? I don't understand because I'm getting past vibes from them. I feel like you're finally confronting somebody that you never were able to say what you needed to say in, I don't know if it's in your past life or when you were younger, because it is in the past. It doesn't have to be when you were a child, but there is definitely a confrontation here that needs to happen and is going to happen in order to lead you or guide you to a sense of peace. Angels are watching over you and guiding you through this process. This is really interesting. I, I just didn't even expect this, anything like this. It said, I also, like I said, let me give you an, an alternate, like an um, alternative reading. Um, this could be defeat with work, like a sense of getting cut off from work, getting fired, getting laid off, a feeling of being muted or useless or not contributing. This is a sense of something is working out to help you fix those things, to help you fix feeling that way or that you're coming to terms with the fact that you're starting to play a different role in your life or somebody's life now and it's not supposed to be as intense as it was. Um, the tower is here though. So there was, there is a shock that's coming. Um, there's a shock that's coming or well, it's Pluto coming into Aquarius. So it happened around that time when Pluto came into Aquarius. But we have just have three major arcana. So this is all faded. Fate kind of shows up at your door this week is what the tarot cards are saying. Unexpected, unexpected, but this is a wish come true that will change your world. This could have something to do also with never being able to have children, not wanting to have children, or miss, feeling like you missed your chance, or... I don't know, something happened with children, this sense of always feeling defeated when it came to trying to be a mother. And then all of a sudden it's like, shock, you get your wish, a baby ends up on the bassinet on the doorstep. Now, this doesn't have to be a baby baby. This could be a creation, like a baby that is a creative idea. This could be your business that's a baby, but something almost kind of lands at your feet because this is a show of confidence from the universe so let's get a little bit deeper Ugh, i don't even know what card to pick this is intense it's going to change your world but in a good way in kind of a beautiful way how though i think this marks when pluto moved into aquarius which was last week page of swords there's clarity here and it's coming in the form of a message oh so this is once again with that mother figure a sense of a message coming through that really shocks you maybe it's not a mother figure maybe it's just an older woman and an, an elderly figure that you knew in your life there's a message coming in about her or from her and it is kind of going to make you see things in a different way maybe see them in a different way or be able to finally um bury the hatchet not literally in somebody's head, but like finally put yourself at ease about a circumstance or situation that happened between you. What is this? Wow, this is fantastic. Blunt, straightforward, the end of a tough cycle approaches and it's Capricorn. So this is very emotional for you, but you're ready to let this go. You've worked for it. You've worked through it. And this is the time for these emotions to be released and not have any power over you anymore. It's also a sense of whatever you've been busting your butt on, whatever you've been working your tail off for, 
it's it's finally coming to fruition this has been ongoing for a while and i think i think just many years it's been going on so now it's like it doesn't have to and i think part of it is because you're ready to let it go that's the secret that's the difference um why emotions are running high you know it's it's maybe emotions are running high because you are letting it go and it has come to the end of something and it is there is definitely an ending and a resolution somehow um, a finishing off of work or maybe even finishing off of a dream of work or the intent of work or a job or a role or maybe even in a sense maybe hoping that there was going to be healing and now there can never be so being able to find a way to let it go anyway somebody is sending a message that is going to help that is what's coming through so right now so let's get into the details remember capricorn there's always an extended reading and i hope that you'll join me for that you can find the link right above click right on it get right to it at the end of this video i'll pin it to the top of the comment section top of the description box for those of you watching on uh television sets you'll have to have your um mobile phone app or your laptop or desktop nearby yeah, there's definitely the ending of a lot of pain. Somebody, this could be somebody who struggled and their pain is over. Their pain has ended. Or suffering that they put you through. This is a message that comes through to end that pain and suffering that it caused you. Because yeah, there was a lot of backstabbing. And now there is, or there was a lot of pain. There was a lot of hurt. And now a message finally gets through. Somebody has been trying to communicate this to you for a while. Please leave the comments below. I'm very curious as to how this is playing out. But somebody has been trying to communicate this to you for a while. Um, the message finally gets through. Can we get a when? Could be around the full moon. I have two full moon, moons here. I have two full moons here. Uh, the fool card. When you decide to leap. Also a sense of you're finally liberated and free from all this burden and stress. You're finally ready for a new start and a new beginning. Okay, but you're not going to give me the time, God, of when this is happening. Within this week. What does the temperance card mean? I don't know. Who is this empress? Who is this person? This is definitely somebody who's got it all, but at first didn't know it. The high priestess is here too. Wow, you have a lot of celestial energy here. Just let me stop for a second. The high priestess is intuition, understanding, knowing. And the Empress is certainty, assuredness, and resourcefulness. What do you mean, though? Okay, maybe clarify. Yeah. Please clarify some of these cards, right? Y'all want clarity? Please clarify, God, some of these cards. What, what is the Empress and the High Priestess here for? It's like finding your own strength, intuitively knowing your own strength, intuitively knowing and understanding your value, and that being confirmed. Because we have the Four of Pentacles here. Based on solid ground, a sense of having something to hold on to or be certain of. So ultimately, in some ways, this was destined to be yours. Could be an inheritance of some sort. Okay. Lovers is here. Almost in a way, because this is the second time I've gotten a lover's vibe, that through a beautiful divine partnership that being attracted to somebody beyond control this sense of togetherness with a human being is your reward for all that you've been through but it could also be gemini energy what do you mean by the lovers what i know is most of these cards are major arcana so this is all faded so that's why the high priestess is here because it's when the stars are in alignment and the stars are currently in alignment for this fate to come through for you. And I'm trying to get more specifics on what exactly that is, though I've given hints. So 
what exactly is it? What exactly is this fate that's coming through and this burden that's going to be released, God? You've been struggling to be able to let go of sorrow and suffering. You've been struggling to take the high ground <coughs> and release the pain. You are going to be able to do that now. Finally, no longer blaming yourself. Underlying energy, the hierophant, the way you've always kept things, religion, making you feel like you always had to keep things this way, you always had to do things a certain way. Underlying, that's the underlying challenge. This is you not giving up, taking little steps and little victories at a time and being able to figure out then how to move on and actually do it. Maybe through marriage. Isn't that interesting? You let me know in the comments below and come on over to the extended with me. I'll see you guys there.